everybody! Hey guys, today we're going to dive into COVID related terms in French. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Baltier Academy. Vous êtes prêts? On y va? Let's go! A masque. A masque. A masque en tissu. Un masque en tissu. Un masque en papier. Un masque en papier. Ou un masque jetable. Un masque jetable. Du gel hydraulique. Du gel hydraulique. Ou du gel désinfectant. Du gel désinfectant. Un spray désinfectant. Un spray désinfectant. Le vaccin. Le vaccin. Une variante. Une variante. Être vacciné. Être vacciné. Êtes-vous vacciné? Le Covid. Le Covid. Ou la Covid. La Covid. Oh, tant mort, tant mort. Uh, time out. So you can say le Covid et la Covid. I'm going to tell you why you could say either and which one is medically and technically grammatically correct. Let's move on and continue on learning these terms. If you're already getting something out of this, give me a thumbs up, support to the channel so you can join the other 12,000 that are already subscribed and getting notified by my weekly videos. Merci. Le papier toilette. Le papier toilette ou le PQ. Le PQ. PQ? PQ is like saying TP in French, okay? A little bit more slang though. Donc papier toilette, un rouleau de papier toilette ou un rouleau de PQ. La pandémie. La pandémie. Le coronavirus. Le coronavirus. Une maladie, une maladie, des symptômes, des symptômes, le confinement, le confinement, la quarantaine, la quarantaine, le télétravail, le télétravail, je suis en télétravail, en visio, en visio, se faire vacciner. Se faire vacciner. Les effets secondaires. Les effets secondaires. Le code QR. Le code QR. Pause culture. So, a lot of culture here. So, I mentioned about saying le COVID ou la COVID. So, which one is correct? So medically, a lot of people, if you ask a doctor, you're going to say la COVID because it's la pandémie, la maladie. And so that's how they would attribute that it would be la COVID. However, from being in France and hearing most of my friends and people around me, a lot of people are actually saying le COVID. So I have to have asked, what would you say, le COVID or la COVID? And technically, both are accurate. Phew! Are you relieved that you don't have to learn whether it's le or la? So for COVID, it could be le or la. If you want to be medically, grammatically correct, you would say la. But since le is used by natives, you can use le as well. So COVID affected different countries differently. And that is no exception for the French speaking countries around the world. So I could tell you how things were in France. Um, I couldn't necessarily tell you how it was in other French speaking countries of the world because I wasn't there for it. One thing that almost became fashionable at one point between the transition of having to wear masks to not necessarily having to wear masks or masks being optional depending on where you were at, like just walking by the street or by a school, was putting it on your elbow. Cool, huh? Cool fashion. So you could technically be like, ah, je porte le masque, je porte le masque, right? Le port du masque est obligatoire. Le port du masque est obligatoire. So a lot of places will say that you have to wear a mask. And that is how it is now with things that have changed and they're continuing to change. 
a lot of places such as cinemas and restaurants may require a proof of vaccination. And if so, most of that is done through a QR code. So literally people would ask for the QR code depending obviously on the place that you were at. I hope the vocabulary I taught you as well as the cultural tips have been useful to you. With the video you're gonna to wanna to watch next to expand on this is this lesson on different medical terms in French. I'm also linking below a dictionary that I recommend, highly recommend, to learn medical terms in French. A bientôt tout le monde.